What's up, y'all? So as you may know, because you probably have seen this in other people's videos and shit, but probably not because I'm gonna try to release it before the bitch asses. <laughs> but we're in Vegas on a company trip. Let me show y'all a couple things that I do real quick. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, I used to be a professional pool player. We are here to uh, relax, have a little bit of fun, and um, we're gonna go eat at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. Now that fool talks a lot of shit on TV, so I really wanna see what that hype is about. Cause if this food fucking sucks, I'm gonna walk over to his place and fucking kick his ass. Probably not, he's pretty buff. We are outside of Gordon Ramsay's pub, we're about to walk in. Remember, if your food sucks, I'm gonna have a word with you. It tastes like chicken and snuff. I'm looking at this main lobster and shrimp roll, but I'm very disappointed in that because why would you add shrimp to the main lobster? Cheap? Much? Ramsay? <laughs> Come see me. To be honest with you, when I see him cook his food, it looks pretty fucking amazing. And I just like, I, I think generally too, like his knife skills are pretty dope, so. I don't know, man. I, I think I would you know what? I'd probably let the man spit in my face. I probably would. I'd probably let him spit directly in my face. <laughs> would you let him put two pieces of bread on your face? <laughs> you are an idiot sandwich! I was looking for really easy re recipes before to like make at home and I came across this recipe called Bangers and Mash and I thought it sounded awesome and I come to find it's just mashed potatoes covered with sausages covered in gravy and I made it at home and it's like the best like hangover or like drinking kind of food because it soaks up everything and it's so savory and salty it's just a really good combination and when I saw it here I was like dude I've never actually seen it on a menu at a restaurant before so I think I'm gonna get it today. How do you I'm gonna charge $27 for butter chicken. That's Indian food. <laughs> I'm gonna charge $27 for Indian food. Indian food is bomb, but that's known to be like cheap food. That's delicious. $27, you fuck, you fucking shit. You're gonna charge me $30 for Indian food as an impoverished country. Fuck you. If you told an Indian person that you were gonna pay $27 for his food, he would have a heart attack. You are going to give me $30 for this? You are fucking crazy. So for a couple of appetizers, we got these um, kettle chip nachos. It's corned beef, kettle chip nachos. It's pretty fucking good. I'll give you a pass on that. And next we have calamari, which tastes like fucking shit. No, it's actually pretty good. They're cheaters. Look at this. It's all bread. All the lobsters up here, and it makes it look like it's all like legit. Like, oh man, I'm about to go in on this lobster. But then you realize they cheated. It's all bread. Does it taste like $18? It's pretty good. It really is. It's pretty yummy. Would you buy it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love soup and it's freaking delicious. So like I thought this bread was really hard because when you touch it, it's kind of like crispy. But as soon as you put it in the soup, it's really nice and fluffy. I don't know how it gets fluffy, but it does. And this bread is so cool because it has a little kick to it. Been here for 45 minutes just like Ant said. Appetizers were good. They came out pretty quick. But that's about it. 45 minutes. I don't know, Golden Ramsey, what's happening behind your kitchen? Huh? I will tell you this. Your food is delicious. If it came out of a horse ass. So I, I got a 14 ounce ribeye. Uh, yes, I'm not counting macros here on this weekend. I'm trying to be relatively conscious about it, but I'm, I'm lying to you right now. Uh, Vernet sauce is delicious with steaks, beets, poultry, whatever you like it with. It's a butter sauce. Watch this shit right here. Ballin. Okay, that did not come out as smooth as I thought it did. Nice. We dip it in the sauce here. It's pretty fucking good. You did a good job. The one thing I didn't use on my own recipe was an actual British banger. I, I didn't have access to a British sausage, so I bought Italian sausages. So that made it taste different than this. And this is like a, a really basic sausage, actually. <laughs> Italian sausages have way more spice to it, a lot more complex uh, flavors. This is very basic. Better than Grillamol? 
No. <laughs> it's just a burger. It's like not even like, oh my god, the greatest burger. It's just like, meh. I'm gonna tell you something, Golden. Your food is shit. Your burger, subpar. It would be delicious if I scraped it off the road and fed it to a person without any taste buds. My steak was fantastic, though. <laughs> It was good, dude. It was a grilled ribeye, and apparently they grilled it over an open fire with some like oak wood chips, so you could really taste that in the meat. Pretty bomb. But the burgers were very disappointing, and this is supposed to be a pub bar and grill, and if you can't make a good burger, Gordon, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm gonna say it again: you charge somebody twenty-seven dollars for Indian food? What the fuck, Gordon? You did one good thing. You gave us free Tupperware for me to take home. Thank you. I need these. You're fantastic. But your burgers are still shit. I would eat your burger if I was lost on an island only after I ate my own leg. But the steak was fantastic. In conclusion, we are talking about a restaurant that serves overly priced food that I can't really say this that good. I have half a mind to go to the back of the kitchen and talk to them, as I normally do, and say, Who's the head chef? Who? You? What the fuck are you thinking? No, but in all honesty, it was, uh, the steak was really good. It was, it wasn't that, I don't know. It, Cause when you go to a pub and a grill, you expect their burgers to be really amazing. And a lot of the stuff that I watch, especially on Kitchen Nightmares, and he really gives shit to people who make really crappy burgers. Gordon Lee burgers alone, that shit is not your skill. Absolutely at all. Steak though, with the Bernay sauce, fucking good. The fucking fries with the truffle, friggin' bomb. A lot of people might be ordering the wrong food, that's why they're uh, giving this place like a three or four star, three and a half star rating or so. But if you get the things that are good here, such as the steak and stuff like that, you'll be okay. Yeah.